Let us present you with the Investment Management Application Digital Building Passport. It will allow you to easily, for example, control their status, plan renovation, optimize costs related to the maintenance of individual buildings, and manage media consumption from the application level thanks to the self-regulation panel, which is a unique option thanks to which you have real influence, for example, on energy consumption. What is important? You can also easily align energy consumption with Directive of the European Parliament and of the Council EU 2018-844, which aims to ensure high energy efficiency and decarbonization of building resources by 2050, enabling the cost-effective conversion of existing buildings into nearly zero energy buildings. See how many opportunities it gives you and how much you can improve your work. You can easily log into the Digital Building Passport application or create a new user profile. After logging in, you see a view of all your buildings with photos, basic information about them, for example, energy and water consumption, and information about the current status of the building. By clicking on a single module, you can immediately enter the details of a given building. If you don't see it in the main view, use the filters above. Filters include options, such as adding a building to your favorites, searching by status, can be good, needs inspection, needs action, or bad, building type, skyscraper, apartment building, etc., and city. In the additional filters window, you can search for buildings with car chargers, solar panels, lifts, etc. On the right side, you will also find a search engine where you can easily find buildings you are interested in by entering the selected keyword, for example, Oslo. You will then be presented with all buildings located in the city area. Let's go to the details. By clicking the See Details button next to the selected building, you are in the Building Details tab. Starting at the top, you see selections where you can find information in various categories. Below, you have their brief description. Building details, including energy class, area, summary of own smart solutions. A short summary of the detected problems, for example, with a heating sensor and suggestions for improving the building performance. The application will draw your attention not only to what you can improve, but also to what percentage it will improve the efficiency of your building, thus saving costs. Sensor status. How many are installed? How many are active and offline? And which one needs repair? By clicking Details, you will see their detailed list. You can also go to the full report by clicking this button. The second option, to get the full sensor data, is to click on the Sensors tab in the top navigation bar. Financial projections. Example, expected expenses estimated for a given year, related to the use of the building. Media consumption. In other words, consumption of energy, gas, and water, which the application calculates, depending on the selection of the appropriate filter, for residents, the building as a whole, or the administrative part. Energy Utilities You can monitor your energy consumption on an ongoing basis, comparing it to consumption in any time frame. Inspection History A brief view of the history of inspections performed, what and when was carried out. With each of the modules listed, you can go deeper to detailed data or the full report. For information purposes, we have included one more view, Primary Energy, which refers to the EU Directive and monitors whether the consumption complies with the regulation. We go to the Building Management tab, Self-Regulation. You can see further tabs, Machine Learning Suggestion, Lighting, Ventilation, Heating, and Lifts. In the ML Learning tab, we have the algorithm hints listed, 
For example, what can be done to save on lighting, heating, or air conditioning? After clicking the preview of individual tiles, the graphs will change depending on the data. You will see how you can influence the daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly consumption. The charts show the possibilities of reducing energy consumption. They do not apply the changes yet. The Lighting tab allows you to independently manage light in the building. You can see consumption in particular periods, as in the previous view, and you can adjust the graph to your needs by selecting or deselecting individual options. If you want to change the light settings, go to Standard Control and click the Choose Places button. You can choose a precise location, for example, a specific stairwell on a specific floor. You will see a view of the current lighting settings in given hourly intervals. You can edit them or add new settings. You can set the date, time frame, mode, and light intensity. Your chart will adapt to the new findings, showing you how much you can optimize your consumption. You also have the option to choose a specific type of chart, depending on your preferences. The other tabs work in a similar way, so we won't cover them now. Let's go to the Media Consumption tab. As mentioned before, you can go to the view of utility consumption for residents, administration, or the entire building. You now see a graph showing the use of car chargers by residents with a selected time frame. You can click on the points on the graph to view detailed data. If you manage more than one building, you can enable the building comparison option by clicking Compare Buildings Utilities. You enter a building in the search field or choose from the list. The comparison of the given range appears. The blue line is the building being checked. The orange is the one added to comparison. You can see the differences in the graph and in the module on the left. The Inspection History module has been grayed out as it concerns only the currently viewed building. You close the comparison with a minus above the graph. We go to the Financial Projections tab, where thanks to the use of machine learning, you will see what expenses related to, for example, necessary inspections or renovations you have incurred so far and what you can expect next year. The costs are visible both in the graph and in the table below where you can go to a detailed report. The next tab, Inspection History, shows you all so far performed inspections related to building management, lifts, gas infrastructure, etc. In the columns, you will find all the necessary information ID number, date of the inspection and its type, contact number of the person carrying out the inspection, cost, status, and you can download a full report on a particular inspection. In the Sensors tab, you will find a full list of installed sensors, broken down by their categories. Lighting sensor, ventilation sensor, heating sensor, and lift sensor. You will see the current status next to each of them, and by clicking individual categories, detailed information. The sensors may be on, off, or showing a problem in operation. When you see a warning like this, you click deeper into the category, and it will take you to the full list of sensors. The sensor with the detected error will appear first. After clicking it, you will see detailed data with the error code and the history of its operation. You can also download a full report on a given sensor and initiate its check. Now, let's focus on the side navigation bar. From the Building Info tab, you go to the General tab. Here, you will find all your investments with brief information about their status, consumption of utilities, energy, heating and infrastructure, and the Inspected Buildings tab which you can also access from the top view. You can also get to the Map tab from the first Discussed view. You see bullets showing the locations of all your investments. 
When you hover the cursor over any bullet, a module appears with brief information about each of them. You can go to the full report from there. The Map tab also has filters that allow you to decide which investments are to be displayed at the moment. The Last But One tab, Renovation, allows you to see the status of renovations for all your buildings. You can see which of them are in progress, scheduled, performed, or paused. Depending on the option checked, the individual buildings are displayed. The inspection history that you have seen before will show you all the details. The module on the right shows you the most recent renovations. The last tab, Services, shows statistics on providers of individual services for all your buildings, electricity, gas, maintenance, cleaning, etc. It also shows you the costs you incur for each service, on the right, you'll see third-party recommendations. If you decide to switch provider, you don't have to look far. As you may have already noticed, the application comprehensively combines all elements of your investment management. If you have any questions or are interested in implementing modern management solutions for your buildings, please contact us.